How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing of the Adidas F50s Messi's League Editions when it comes down to the FG and MG Soul Plate. A well requested and asked video to do a boot review of these. So we're going to be talking about these League Editions specifically more designed for Messi in terms of his colorway and to see if there's much difference between these and the original F50 leagues. So in terms of um, differences, there isn't too much difference between the two. In terms of just the design of the boots, it's much more targeted for a signature boot, which is for Messi and it's from a previous edition. As you can see, there's also a logo at the back of the heel area, um, whereas the F50 only has the Adidas logo. The other difference would be the control materials at the front of the toe box area, as you can see, it's all lined together in a line, and that is the only major difference between the two of the original F50 leagues and then these messy uh, league editions as well of the F50s. Apart from that, there isn't too much difference in terms of wearing the boots as well. You still get the kind of compression, uh, I believe it's the compression fit in the laces system area. That doesn't change at all. The material, however, on the um, laces system in terms of when you're putting your feet into the boots itself, it's much more thicker compared to the original F50s, which is much more of a thinner material carrying on from the elite editions of the F50s. These messy ones, as you can see on the heel, um, not the heel, yeah, heel area and also the midfoot area of tying up your laces where you put your feet into the boots. Right here now, it's much more of a thicker material which I guess it offers more protection when being tackled upon, uh, but it does weigh a little bit more in terms of grams than the original F50 leagues. So if you're looking for a pair of boots that, firstly, you're a fan of Messi, um, that offers a bit more protection in terms of all areas of the boots, a bit more heavier of a speed boot, then these are the ideal boots for you. Um, the price currently is around roughly 70 to 80 euros a pound for these. And of course, it will go down over time, maybe give it a couple months. Have a look on Adidas app, Adidas website, and also from third parties, which we buy online through Pro Direct Sports as well. Do have a look at them as well. Um, there's always availability of those sizing. Now, with the league editions of these F50 Messi, F50 Messi editions, it's actually very accommodating for wide feet because of the difference of the material in the lace system. It allows the boot to be a bit more stretchy than the original F50s. So it will have a better chance of accommodating if you have wide feet. You may need to just adjust the sizing, but there's a better chance of actually wearing these boots if you have wide feet. Make sure to also leave a comment down below in this video if you have wide feet or even narrow feet in terms of what sizing you went for and how you felt about the boot in terms of comfort, as it really helps out people and new viewers watching this now or in future reference, see if these are for them and also have a sizing to go and order if order in. So your feedback, your pros and cons on what you write of these boots really do help out new viewers um, and also people that are buying these for the first time. Now, as we said, for wide feet, we recommend anywhere from true to size to a half size up. Initially, or ideally, a half size up is best for wide feet as it will give you a bit more space and leeway in the midfoot and toe box area once you've done up the laces and it's tighten up towards your feet. For very wide feet, it's a 50-50. Do try them on. The best idea is to either order them online with two pairs or actually go to a nearby physical store and actually try the sizing on from a half to one full size up when it comes down to these F50 messy leagues. Then you have a rough idea to see if these fit you or not. If not, you can always go for the likes of the Copas or the Predators of the League Editions, which we've done a review on our channel, so you can check that out. So it's a 50-50 for very wide feet. And as you said, for wide, and for wide feet, go anywhere from true to size to a half size up, but the best bet is around a half size up. For normal feet types, going true to size should be nice and comfortable for you. You shouldn't need to adjust it. However, if you feel like you need to go half size down for a bit more snug and tight fit, then you can also do so. And the same applies for narrow feet. Going a half size down should, be, should give you that nice snug and tight fit once you've done up the laces. However, we have had instances where going one full size down for narrow feet to get that snug and tight fit feeling when wearing these boots. So these are just the starting sizings that you can start off with and then you can adjust accordingly to whether you go to the actual physical stores in Adidas or whether you order them online. 
Now, soul plate wise, you can wear these on FG and AG pitches as well. It's really nice for change of direction, um, very similar to the Elite tiers. Durability from the purple editions of the F50s, haven't had any major damages whatsoever. We've worn them on FG uh, firm ground pitches and also lights for artificial grass like 3G, 4G. But we do recommend using them at least minimum two weeks out of the box, training by yourself uh, or with a few friends doing some technical work, running around with them, changing directions, agility drills, sprint drills, as that will soften up the boots and the material on the upper and for you to get used to the boots as well. Then you can take them into team training or matches after the two week period. Do not wear these on hard ground or the likes of 2G sand pitches. Go for the flat turf editions of the F50s, which is available as well. Uh, they're much better for your sole of the feet and also will help reduce the durability of them breaking very quickly if you're gonna wear them on hard, co uh, hard ground or concrete or 2G pitches. So for those ones, go for the turf editions. But thanks again for watching this review of the F50 uh, messy league editions if you enjoyed it make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future all the very best and take care